How's it going everybody? Thank you for watching this video and just a quick note if you guys are subscribed or if you guys haven't subscribed yet make sure to subscribe and when you do click this little bell here on my channel and get all notifications sent to you from my channel that way you guys can be updated with all of my channel updates and uploads and whatever else I do on here. Thanks for watching. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the Source Code. My name is Deshaun and today we're going to be looking at crafting rewards. So basically we're going to make a plugin that gives players rewards for crafting certain items, right? Pretty cool. Um, also, make sure to follow me on GitHub. All the code will be available to you on GitHub. So why would you not go on there? And secondly, make sure not to skip around this video or you guys could possibly miss some code that's going to affect the outcome of your plugin. So once again, if you guys have been following along, your plug your project should look something very similar to this. Um, but we're going to go ahead and grab our events class again. And we are going to go ahead and get rid of this because we don't need this. That was a little bit much. It was a little much. I, I admit it. It was a little bit much. But we're going to go ahead and call public void crafting reward. And we're going to say, ooh, item craft event. I believe that's what it is. And let's go ahead and import. It's probably like craft item event. Craft item event. There we go. Craft item event. I knew it was one of the two. So, pretty much anything that happens now when the player crafts an item, it's going to go ahead and run something. So, we're going to just go ahead and just cast the player, player. All right. So, what we want to do is we want to do event.get who clicked. That's what we're going to call it, not player. Um, but we do need to cast player here. So, we're going to. Well, I guess what we should probably do is let's just see here let's just change that to human entity we're going to import human entity there um, well no i guess we can keep it as a cast of player because no one else can craft items besides players so then we're going to go ahead and just say player dot send message check color dot light purple just because uh but we're also going to add our prefix here so prefix plus Check color dot light purple. You have crafted, and we're gonna go ahead and get. Uh, we're gonna create a new. I want to say it's gonna be an item stack. Item stack, which is gonna be event dot get current item. Import item stacks. You have crafted. Plus, check color dot yellow. Uh, let's change this to green you know what? actually let's change this one to green and you have crafted item dot get item meta well we actually just get the type dot to string so get type dot to string there we go so now what's gonna happen is every time oops this is really long that's okay I don't I, I really don't want it to separate itself like that so we're just gonna go ahead and bring that back so we're gonna go ahead and export this your main class should already be set up um to run events if not you just need to go ahead and do git server dot get plugin manager at register events and your events class um so hopefully you guys have been following along if not go back and uh into my series and look at how to register events that's going to be really important here so let's go ahead and clear our inventory so now anytime that a player crafts anything it doesn't matter what it is we're gonna get a message ba -ba. you have craft crafted workbench so pretty neat I think we have too many spaces here because I added a space in there which I totes forgot about and let's make this a capital just because English capitals first all right let's re-export this and let's go ahead and do this again so we have crafted workbench all right, so what, what do we want to do now? We have crafted spruce wood stairs. So it doesn't look clean, but, you know, it's okay. We're, we're just kind of doing this for fun. But now we want to do maybe something like... Uh, let's go ahead and uh, we'll just keep that message for now because we're going to go ahead and use that. So we're going to say if item dot 
git type dot equals material dot diamond uh, really any of these will work we'll just go ahead and diamond sword we're gonna go ahead and tell the player that they have crafted a diamond sword but yeah well that's that's good for now we're just gonna say that they have crafted a diamond sword so what's gonna happen is let's actually get out of so I diamond I diamond I stick and let's get out of game mode here because what we're about to do we want to not be in game mode so if we craft a diamond sword it's gonna tell us hey we craft a diamond sword but what if we craft a workbench nothing happens right because we did the if statement there only if we crafted a a uh, a diamond sword but now what we want to do is maybe you want to go ahead and give the player you know like experience right because they crafted a diamond sword maybe you're setting up a server where you go ahead and do something like this we're gonna go ahead and say player dot set exp or set yes yeah, set exp or what we can actually I think we can do go ahead and we're gonna give them exp and we're gonna give them experience one we're gonna give them one experience for that right and again like I mentioned before you guys can soft or hard code this it doesn't really matter um, but we're going to go ahead and make it something a little bit easier to craft other than a um, a workbench or other than a diamond sword just because you know I want something really easy we're going to go ahead and get rid of that message there um, just because it's, it's kind of useless we know what we're crafting all right so what we're going to do now is if we craft this workbench here ta-da you can see that our experience went up one there so actually what we're going to go ahead and say is prefix your your ex experience rows by we'll go ahead and do a space there and then we're gonna say one or actually let's go ahead and just do ten just just because so we're gonna call for ten here so what's going to happen now is when we craft this item here, our experience rose by 10. Our experience rose by 10. And obviously you probably want to do this uh, with, uh, you know, oh God, I just died. Now you probably want to do this with obviously items that are, you know, far, far, far more advanced. So if you actually use our custom recipes code that you guys did a little bit a little bit ago, uh, so if you're working on a server member, maybe you want to have custom recipes for you know your custom items, and then if a player crafts it, you want to send a message to either that player or the server, you know, saying that that player, you know, crafted that item, right? And we can make this like really really cool here. So what we're actually gonna do here is we're gonna say, uh, so we're gonna give that player that experience, right? So we're just gonna uh, we'll we'll change this back to diamond diamond sword right or diamond sword. And now what we want to do is I'm just gonna add some comments here just to separate it here. We're gonna go ahead and do <coughs> excuse me. We have to call for our private plugin plugin equals tutorial dot get plugin uh, dot tutorial dot get class. All right, so we can go ahead and import this plugin. And we only need one of these. All right, so what we want to do now is we want to do plugin dot get server dot broadcast a message to the whole server. So maybe we want to say, uh, we'll add our prefix in here that we did in the one episode, a couple episodes ago. We're going to go ahead and say chat color dot uh yellow um and then we're gonna go ahead and get the player dot get name plus chat color dot light purple plus space has crafted and we're just gonna we're just gonna uh change this to a diamond axe we're gonna just do the axe of Zeus which we talked about in a previous video when we did the custom items and we're gonna say plus check 
color dot aqua plus spare x of Zeus. All right, so now what's going to happen is it's going to broadcast a message to the whole server on top of sending the player a message. Um, so we want to do go ahead and say I diamond I stick uh, I stick and we'll go ahead and do that so this isn't the axe of Zeus most obviously um, so what we have here is we have our prefix there saying Malik D. Busick has crafted axe of Zeus and now my chat I have set up to be really really small uh, we can go ahead and change that width there so we get more of our chat there on one line so there we go you know I have crafted the axe of Zeus and it sent a message to the whole server but what we can do now which is even cooler is we can go ahead and say for uh, dot get server dot get online players so we're learning about four I don't think we have done this before so we're gonna say for player player colon so for every player that's online we're gonna do player dot play oh we can't use player because um, we're already using that so we're gonna say online we're gonna go ahead and say online dot play effect and we're gonna say the location is just gonna be online dot oops online dot get location and then we want the effect to be effect dot uh, you know it could be anything really uh, let's just have it be do, 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 do. I was looking for thunder but I, I don't I don't know where it is it might be a, it might be a sound effect sound effect dot oh maybe not or maybe sound dot into the lightning thunder there we go and then the volume which I believe is going to be a one and we have to just go ahead and say get world dot play effects and now this is going to be wrong because we're not playing effect we're gonna go ahead and say play sound so we're just gonna go ahead and say play sound and we need to add one more oops one more comma in there all right so now we're going to play the sound. It's going to have a low volume. So what's going to happen now is we're going to play this. And when we craft it. I have crafted the Axe of Zeus and I got Thunder just because, you know, why not, right? Why not have Thunder? Because that's cool, right? So that's all I got for you guys today in this Crafting Rewards uh, episode. Now, you guys did learn how to basically make your very own craft and rewards plugin here right so now you can set this up to be however you want i mean you can have it give you know custom items to the player for crafting certain things you can have it play sounds you can have it give them experience you know you can really have it do oh god i forgot i'm not in game mode you can really have it do whatever the heck you want so once again make sure to follow me on github because everything will be on there and lastly, make sure to tweet at me at the underscore source underscore code. And or if you want to tweet at my hashtag, hashtag TSC coding, be sure to go ahead and do that. And that's all I got for you guys in this episode. And next episode, what are we going to talk about? I don't know because I didn't prepare myself and I didn't look. So we are looking at custom inventory. So inventory menus. All right. That's all I got. See you later.